So we are here tonight to hear the night school talk and we will be talking about the science of sleep and dreaming. There's a few different elements uh, to the talk, so we will be playing some mind games with them. We will be doing a mass suggestion test, uh, all being well if we have time. There's a live EEG uh, experiment going on, but mostly we'll be talking about what happens in the missing third of their life, that, that uh, time when you're asleep and, uh, asleep and dreaming, you know exactly what's going on. A couple of years ago at the festival I launched Dream On, which was a rather ambitious iPhone app. And the idea was that it could shape or control people's dreams. So before they went to bed, they decided what time they wanted to wake up and they put that information into the app, but also said something about the type of dream they wanted to, to have, whether they wanted to be walking along a beach or you know, out in the woods or whatever. And then during the night, the app quietly played in one of those soundscapes. And in the morning, uh, they were prompted to uh, uh, send us a report of their dream. And for the last two years, we've been collecting millions of these dream reports. And we've uh, been announcing the results of this year's festival. This year's mass participation experiment with the festival was all about couples and their habits at night in terms of how they sleep. And so we asked over a thousand people to rate the quality of their relationship and also tell us you know, how far apart they slept in bed at night. And lo and behold, what we found was a, a pretty straightforward relationship that uh, those that were very close to their partner were physically close to their partner. And then as those that sort of drifted apart during the night, their relationships weren't so good. So it's a kind of fun way of looking at people's relationships. Mm -hmm.